Hi, my name is Heather Richmond. Welcome to the channel. I hope everyone is doing well and you guys are taking care of yourselves. So as I've mentioned previously, I have um, as of late been working with the Pleiadian Council of Nine Energies and since the eclipse and solstice last week, which seems like much longer than last week, um, particularly since that time, the downloads have been coming in, you know, seemingly quicker and faster and more efficiently every day. Um, so I'm being challenged to make sure I document all of these um, downloads that I'm receiving and to pass along what is um, appropriate at the time. So I, I will um, first read the transmission exactly as I received it, and then I will um, break it down and go over parts that might need clarification. Okay. The illness that you are experiencing on your planet can best be viewed as the matrix virus. It is what you, if you were the director of your story, might call a MacGuffin. This is an object or device that serves merely as a trigger for the plot in your tale, but is otherwise essentially irrelevant to the main characters. Now, we are in the process of running the recovery program that will cure the virus. We will then participate in the cleanup and rebuilding here, cleansing all from the micro to the macro. While in lockdown, or perhaps more appropriately, we might call it containment, we, the healers of the planetary body, are being kept safe while this 3D virus is removed and the operating system upgrade, upgraded. <laughs> After the fever has passed, we will begin the work of rehabilitation. It is important to note that this will happen just as quickly as you would like it to. Stay calm. Our work is almost done here. We will return home soon to the place that the heart feels at home. There are some amongst you who will need more time for healing. Be patient. Don't forget you were once sick too. You will help speed the process each and every time you open your heart with compassion and love. You were never born. Rather, you died when you came here. This is the closest thing to death your soul will ever know. For fear is contraction, and contraction is death. We came here as one with two bodies, each with quote-unquote half a brain and likewise quote-unquote half a heart. Our splintered selves became trapped in the density of illusion. But we are here now to bring ourselves up. Together as one, we will set about this yellow brick road one step after another. And we will know in our now whole hearts and our newly healed minds that we are guided home. And there we will be the creators we were always destined to be. Okay, so just a few points that I'll go over. Um, the, the message itself, I should clarify, is um, it's coded. So, you know, it serves as an activation of sorts. Um, so really and truly my analysis isn't terribly pertinent because um, even if you do not fully understand while hearing the transmission, um, even if you don't on a uh, conceptual, you know, um, level, um, really 
uh, understand exactly what the in, the analysis might be. Um, it still serves to their phrase, words and phrases that will serve as as triggers for um, memory. So um, they begin by talking about you know the virus and it's a you know it really is. Um, a, we could call it a matrix virus um, because we're seeing in matter, in physical manifestation, um, the uh, manifestation of what we as a collective have created. And so within that physical representation, um, we have seen and are continuing to see people make that uh, choice. They're deciding whether to take the fear-based path or the love path. And really this is, um, you know, if you're listening to this video, this is probably a decision that you made quite some time ago and um, you've been on this path for a while. Um, from my perspective, this won't resonate with everyone, but from my perspective, this is sort of the, it, it, we might refer to this as the last stand. So people are really being forced to um, make a choice of their own free will, which sounds um, a little contradictory to say forced to make a choice with free will, but um, that's exactly what it is. Um, because otherwise, you know, we would be, um, overridden and you know forced to go just one way but as I see it at this point we really do have an evolutionary choice point in front of us um, for the for the collective I should say in front of the collective and that's what we're seeing manifest right now um, this term the MacGuffin came to me and I didn't really um, remember exactly what it was I remember that it you know had something to do with storytelling or maybe films and I do know that Alfred Hitchcock used MacGuffins um, in his film so I think he's the one that coined that term um, so um, this is an object I looked it up it's an object or a plot device that serves merely as a trigger within the plot However, it's just an irrelevant item. It, it's unimportant and it might serve, but it serves as a catalyst. So um, in our physical lives, that can manifest as a person. Um, you, you might look at it like as a guest appearance <laughs> or it might manifest as, you know, like we're seeing here in the form of a, you know, the pandemic. Um, so it's a concept or uh, an item. So it's, again, that has triggered, that has been the MacGuffin, quote unquote, you know, it could have been anything, but that was the trigger to um, force this evolutionary choice point for the collective. And um, so we are now... We have now begun the process of running the, the recovery program. And so um, we're here not only to help people, well, I should say some of us, it depends on your contract, um, your soul contract. You know, some of us may be here to not only lead people through the tunnel or across the bridge, um, but also to help in sort of the uh, rebuilding phase of the, um, you know, 3D, 4D Earth, which is why it's necessary at this point for us to still achieve, you know, well, for us to still descend at times down to 3D consciousness. Um, but it is truly a transition. So this happens, you know, very slowly and all in divine timing that you release that 3D self, essentially. So um, many people have noted recently that I've talked to that the it, it really does seem to be apparent that the 3D, 5D split is now happening. Um, and I think that 
some people look at this quarantine situation as, um, you know, oh, they're locking us down and making us stay in our homes against our will or whatever. Um, I look at it a little bit differently. Um, maybe that's true in the third dimensional plane for a lot of people. Um, in the fifth dimensional plane and above plane of existence, um, really it is for our own protection. So they were very adamant to give me the word containment. And um, I didn't know this, but I looked it up because I just wanted to make sure I had clear a clear definition. But it's also a film. So I highly recommend just looking up the synopsis for the film containment. It's, um, you know, very interesting, the parallels. Um, so, you know, again, we are being kept safe while this um, virus is being removed and, um, you know, sort of being shielded from the worst of that. But as soon as, you know, this, um, and I look at this as more incremental, uh, but essentially, you know, we will be called to help in the aftermath, in the rehabilitation for, um, at the macro and the the micro levels so we're rehabilitating the planet we're rehabilitating the collective and we are rehabilitating ourselves essentially um, and I thought this was interesting um, it is important to note that this will happen as quickly as you'd like it to um, so that really has to do with you being the creator of your own reality. Um, you are able to manifest timelines as quickly as you as you want to that will lead you um, to an awareness of a reality um, in which the quote unquote fever has passed, you might say. And so then, you know, we are able to return to our true selves to home essentially um yeah and then there was a further you know um sort of piece of advice you know don't forget that you were once sick too so we have to be you know kind and or we're called to be you don't have to do anything but i think we're guided to be um patient and loving and forgiving um of to those who um, are still in that process of healing because I think this is really a time I think it's very difficult for people who are who are taking either path right now but you know particularly the ones who are choosing the ascension path um, I think that's probably going to be a very challenging endeavor for them because they've got to do it so quickly because things are just you know really really ramping up so um, Again, I think compassion is very important there. Um, okay, so uh, the last part is um, essentially a, you know, a reminder that we are now on this yellow brick road. I got that phrase very adamantly. Um, we're on the road home right now. This is what we are doing, and it, it happens, you know, one step after another. I think in my perception at, you know, a previous time in my um, awakening journey, I sort of um, envisioned it, you know, this, this ascension happening in one fell swoop, you know, in one moment, but, um, you know, really and truly, it's a, it's a step by step process it's incrementally um, happening so um, you know once we get home and that is our true self um, once we get home we then have the ability to create our reality exactly as we we want it so whatever the um, and I think this is maybe something that isn't talked about a lot too um, the new earth is not, um, it doesn't have to be, um, you know, one set concept. Now we do cr create that reality collectively, 
but don't get too stuck on when other people talk about what the new earth is going to look like. Um, like for instance, if people say, oh, we'll still have a, a monetary system, it'll just be improved in 5D or something like that. Um, you have the ability to manifest a timeline for yourself once you are the creator where there is no monetary system at all. Um, and again, that happens step by step. It doesn't, you know, I don't believe it is a thing that will happen overnight, but that's just one example. Um, it's essentially saying like, or they are essentially saying, um, don't get caught up in other people's um, conception of the new earth because the whole purpose or the whole um, the the main uh, perk I guess that's what's coming to me <laughs> of being on the new earth is that you get to make it look any way you want it to look so I hope that gives um, a little bit of clarity and perhaps some comfort to some of you as we continue navigating through this um, sort of precarious time. Thank you so much for listening.